What's up guys, Headphones Neil here with a quick hot take review for Loki Season 1, Episode 1, Glorious Purpose. So I will preface this by saying that there will most likely be spoilers in this particular review. So if you have not seen the episode or don't want to be spoiled, then definitely skip the episode or this review until you have seen the episode. So with that being said, I want to say that overall this particular season premiere was very well done. It was very enjoyable. It's kind of like a 70s version of a time jump through the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So when you're watching it, it starts off at the point in Avengers, and I'll forget off now off the top of my head with Infinity War or Endgame where Loki escapes with the Tesseract. Um, and he tries to go through time to, or basically try, basically be himself in order to um, rule people and become the ruler he thinks he's meant to be. But I guess there's an organization called the Time, uh, called the um, Time Variance Authority, kind of like the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. for t the time-space continuum that monitors things like this where people are trying to jump out of their timeline and mess with the space-time continuum and put them back in their place, um, arrest them, put them in jail, and um, all of that sort of stuff. So, um, and it's kind of like, and they also have their own departments and people working on it. So in this case, we have Owen Wilson, Owen Wilson as a detective in this agency that's handling the case regarding Loki. There's various other um, squads that are also working on it. And essentially this is this premiere was something that was meant to set up um, introducing the Loki via the, or the audience via Loki to what the Time Variance Authority is and um, handle the threat with an out of control Loki who I guess outside of his time space variance or time lifetime continuum or something like that is causing more trouble or a lot of trouble that he shouldn't be and the only person to stop this the bad Loki is the um, Loki that we all um, know from I guess the proper t space time continuum so overall this was a very good premiere it was very entertaining very engaging um, in general, it was one of those things where it was generally just a good time. Um, so things like, and the attention and detail that they have in the episode is very good. So for example, the timekeepers look at it like they're using fashion from like the 70s um, as far as the decor. They're using a dot matrix printer. Um, the TVs and technology and things like that are from that era. So think of kind of like the spy agency in Austin Powers. Um, and then they had little Easter eggs, which I don't know if it was on purpose, but knowing the MCU, it probably was. Is that they have they say that messing with the timeline can lead to madness in the multiverse. So I don't know if this is going to somehow lead into um, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, or it's kind of like a Easter egg teaser for what we're going to see there, and uh, maybe see more of the Time Variance Authority there to deal with Doctor Strange, or maybe more will be said in Loki as far as that goes, but. Um, an interesting little tidbit there and um, overall this I mean L Loki's performance was good um, but beyond that I want to say as far as other um, performances the other good performance was Owen Wilson he's kind of like a live-action Mr. Incredible from The Incredibles um, but kind of he's basically portraying what we imagine an older Owen Wilson would be like, I guess, or kind of if you mixed, um, um, what's his name, or the, what's his name from Meet the Fockers, um, as far as the uh, father-in-law and the main character, so as, as I, um, talk, I'm gonna look up the character names, um, Ben Stiller's character and Robert De Niro's character, so kind of a mix between the two. Um, was kind of what we see in Owen Wilson, and oddly enough, he's in that film too. So, um, overall, a good start to the series. So, I can't wait to see how they go, um, handle it every week. So, um, but that's really all there is for this review. So, I think at the moment, I mean, I kind of wanted to say that it's going to be a, um, um, overall season review, but I think depending on what the adventure is every week, there might be, uh, 
Um, I might be able to do a weekly review, but in general, this first episode does make me want to see the whole season and kind of intrigued as far as how they handle the the rest of the series. Um, it does look like it might be only a, a mini series event as far as six episodes go. So depending on how the next one goes, we'll see. But I'm thinking I'll stick to the original overall mini series review. Um, to to kind of see where they take it and do a whole series review, but um, if you're on the fence about it, it or you're not sure about how a Loki miniseries would do, um, this first episode does look like it's going to be one of those things that handles very well from beginning to end, and to see how Loki is going to have to deal with catching himself um, doing the things he's not supposed to do so that he can do the wrong things that he is supposed to do and help maintain the timeline so that's all there is for this particular review so if you have any questions comments or any feedback or anything like that or little easter, easter eggs and tidbits that you found that i didn't see then you can find me on twitter at patel in zero one the head the website is headphones neil dot reviews for past episodes subscription links supporting the show and all of that good stuff but thanks for tuning into this particular episode and until next time.